Hi guys, back with another video. Well, we got a package delivered today. We're going to open this thing up. I guess we're going to do an unboxing video. So one thing I need to clarify is I'm not an expert on these things. It's kind of like everything else. I learn as I go. Pick up a few things here and there. Try to figure things out myself. Watch other people's videos on it. I try to learn that way. So let me get this thing out of here. Got ourselves a new camera. It's the Nikon Coolpix P950. So I've been trying to get myself a different camera. I want something that I can take stills with and take video with. So I've watched a lot of reviews. Find a way to open this thing up. Watched a lot of reviews on different cameras and stuff. Had a hard time deciding, but I ended up deciding on this. And I'll explain why here in a minute since we get it out. So we're going to open it up here. See what all you get with the camera. Get the warranty information. Manuals here. One is for the app, the Nikon SnapBridge app. One is manual for the camera itself. Probably should have a camera above where you can see down in here, but this will got a strap for the camera. That'll be handy so we don't drop it somewhere. Uh, I believe this is probably the battery charger and all that stuff. And I got some wires battery, the battery itself, and got the wall adapter for the battery charger. I believe that, oh, I think that's one thing with this camera, it doesn't come with a battery charger, that's what I remember now, it comes with a wire, you actually have to put the battery in the camera and charge it through the camera that way. Uh, I'm not even sure what this is. A lot of stuff to find out and learn, but let's get the camera out here and look at it. I have to say the weight on this thing. It feels rather heavy. I mean, it's got some heft to it, I can tell. It's not a lightweight. But this is what I've been waiting to get. Something like this. So there, let me tell you why I decided on this camera. Probably the most important reason I got this camera is has an 83 power optical zoom. 83 power. This thing will zoom in a long way. And I think that'll come in handy for wildlife stuff, you know, trying to get close ups of birds or elk or whatever I'm, you know, out there trying to get on video or stills of. This, that 83 power zoom lens will really help out a lot. Has a lot of other features, which I'd have to go over to owner's manual and figure out myself. But it's basically similar to a DSLR camera. But they call this a bridge camera. And the reason is, is because it's kind of like a video camera. And it's kind of like a DSLR type or mirrorless camera. But there is a difference between the mirrorless and DSLR. And that is you can't remove the lens. The lens is permanent. It's on there. It doesn't come off. But it does zoom out a long way, and I'm not sure how much charge in the battery. Excuse my birds back there. Let's put the battery in real quick. Got to turn on. I had to put an SD card in it. That took a little bit. I kind of had to fill out some information, set the time on it. There's going to be a learning curve with this thing, but this is the lens. 2,000 millimeter. I guess it's 83 power equivalent. I don't understand all, how all that works. From what I understand is that if you had a regular mirrorless camera or something, or a DSLR, that you can't get a lens that will, that's 2,000 millimeter. I guess if you do get one, it's going to be very big, very heavy. Just not practical to be carrying in the woods like I'm going to do. Now, there are a couple reasons I got this camera. It shoots in 4K. I'm not sure how much I'll be using that. And with this model camera, you can shoot photos in RAW and JPEG, you know, and 
or JPEG. You can shoot in RAW. So apparently Nikon made a camera before this called the Coolpix P900 and it did not shoot in RAW. It only shot JPEG and I guess that's one of the complaints a lot of people said about it that they wanted the option to shoot RAW so they can uh, enhance and edit the photos and make them better. Now there, Nikon does make a camera called the P1000 that has a 125 power optical zoom. Can you imagine that? That's crazy. So I got a lot to learn on this thing and I'm probably not going to cover this very well as far as a review or an unboxing but when I figure a few things out I'll show you what this camera can do. Maybe you'll be interested in getting something like this but I got a lot to learn in the meantime. So when I figure some things out I'll show you what we can do with it. So I've had this camera almost a week. Now uh, before I get started this is just an unboxing and review video. And I have to tell you I'm not a camera professional. I know very little about, about cameras. So if you're a guy like me and you're looking at a camera you don't know a lot about them and you're trying to you know think what you should get. Maybe you want to do some wildlife photography. And you're looking at it from a perspective of somebody that's just like you which would be me. And you're thinking about what camera to get and you're probably watching this video to learn a little bit more about this. So I'm just going to give you my impressions of the camera. The main selling point on this camera is the 83 power zoom. And I'm telling you, this thing will zoom in like no other camera that I've ever seen. It helps get you those nice, crisp, clear photo shots. And it does do a good job of video. Now, the one thing I don't... There's things, several things that I really don't care for with the camera. But overall, I like it. It does get you those nice close-up shots, but the problem is when you use that zoom, you need something to steady the camera. Even though it has image stabilization, you still move around a lot when you have that much power zoomed in. So I use a Primo's trigger stick with the camera mount on it. It makes it nice and easy. You just adjust it for the height you need it. Put both hands on it, and you can zoom in, get some nice pictures. It has the articulating screen, so if you're at an awkward angle and you're trying to get different shots, that helps with that. Now with the uh, viewfinder here, when you look through it, it automatically shuts this screen off and automatically turns this screen on. So you do have to watch that if you're holding this close to your body and you're using the main screen. If it gets a little bit too close, it'll actually shut that off. So that's something you might want to watch for. The other thing, the one thing I don't really, I think... Nikon was a little bit cheap on was the battery door the access for the battery and the SD card it seems flimsy it, it just seems kind of like a cheaper plastic and it does seem like it could break pretty easy it just seems that way to me it has a lot of features uh, like I said the zoom is spectacular it's amazing how this thing zooms in Now it does have a 83 power optical zoom and then it has a, I believe it's a four times uh, digital zoom. So that's pretty cool. It has a lot of settings. Like I said, I'm not a pro camera professional, so I'm still learning the settings. I really don't know a lot about them. It has a, a lot of adjustments and stuff you could do. You can adjust the picture quality. I usually set my pictures usually in post I make them so that they're a little more vivid they show a little bit more color but with this camera you could do that before you even shoot the picture you can make the picture quality you know the way you like it it shoots in raw uh, if you like to edit your video a lot of people like raw I supposedly I don't know a lot about this but supposedly it gives more image information so that you can do you know more editing comes with a strap I usually keep this thing around my neck even when I have the trigger stick trigger stick because I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it. So I normally have this thing around my neck. Uh, has a zoom back feature. When you zoom in, let me show you here, we'll turn it on. 
Now you can you can set this so that it automatically as soon as you turn the camera on, you can set this lens so that it comes out a certain distance, however far you want it, so you don't have to waste a couple seconds zooming it in farther. But let's say you have your telephoto, well, you could zoom it in. Um, a lot of times when you zoom in, it's real easy to lose your subject. You all have this feature here that zooms it back just a little bit so you can refund your subject and let go and it zooms back in again. Pretty cool feature. Uh, like I said, there's a lot to learn about this camera, but if you're a guy like me that maybe you don't know a lot and you're looking for something that will get you a pretty cool photograph, especially of wildlife, something that you want to get close to, definitely something you want, you want to look into. Rather expensive in my book. I know something like this is expensive for me to buy, but I think I'll probably mostly use it for steals. Now, one thing I didn't actually care for, it shoots in a aspect ratio of three by four instead of nine by 16 for your steals. The video is in nine by 16, but the steals, it's only three by four. Now you could crop it, you know, later. You could do that. And uh, another feature it has, if you take a photo, you can actually zoom in on it and adjust it and then save the photo. You could do a little bit of editing right on the camera. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you some different samples of photos I've got with this thing, and that's how we'll exit the video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.